everyone welcome to automation community in this session we are going to see about normally closed contact so as i have already told normally open contact is one of the important instruction in ladder logic same like normally closed contact is also one of the most important instruction in ladder logic programming so let's see in cx programmer so here you can see this is normally closed contact so i'll give the name which is a switch zero already so what is this normally closed contact why it is called as normally closed if you see there is a difference between normally open and normally closed symbol look at this look at this this is normally opened if you see the normally closed is having one cross line from right to left have you seen this is normally closed so how it will work so let's connect this with one of the output to understand this so same tube light i'm taking we have seen this in the previous concept the tube light i have taken okay so imagine you have one normally closed switch at your home for the tube light so let's turn on the main supply which is i am going online let's see you have not done anything you have not changed the position of the switch but your output is on your tube light is on once you turn on the main your tube light is on why why means there is a positive rail over here and a negative rail over here right so the power from positive rail is easily flowing through normally closed contact to reach the destination can you see a normally closed contact is allowing basically the power to go through go through it all right so but in the previous session we have seen about normally open contact which is restricting the power to flow unless we change the position but this is allowing so that's the difference between normally open and normally closed so initially it will be in the closed condition which will be allowing the power to flow if you change the state if you change the state the power will re get restricted and your output will be off so normally closed conditions off condition is like this only it is not that normally closed condition now in on condition not like that so normally closed condition is designed in such a way that it was in off condition but it will allow the power to flow it's like opposite to normally open contact if you disturb the state of your normally closed contact it will restrict the power to flow from positive to negative so that your output will get turn off understood so what happen if i connect two normally closed contact in series so let's see that also let's go online now see both the inputs are allowing power to get in get through it and your output is on okay now change any one position changing the position of switch 2 so your output is immediately turned off because both are in series one is restricted means power is stopped here all right so now i'll go back to the previous state now your tube light is on just disturb the state of this what will happen so power is restricted here itself so power is not allowing from left to right if you see switch 2 which is on i mean which is having some power but without the power before this nothing will happen power has have to be cross switch 1 to reach the switch 2 but it is not happen so your output is off okay so now i'll turn it on turn off it again now see your tablet is on all right so now i'm going to connect this in parallel let's see what will happen that's it 
let's go for the simulation now as usual both the inputs are in off state but your output is on so let's cut down one of the input but it, it's not affecting the output because both are in parallel parallel means option so if the power is restricted here means it will take this route to reach the tube light see there is no restriction in this line so it is taking this route okay so now disturb this now what is happening so it is taking this route to reach the tube light so this is how normally closed contact will get work okay so what will happen if one normally open and one normally closed so let's see that so i'm going to use switch 2 as normally open and switch 2 as normally closed oh, sorry it's switch 2 as normally open and switch 1 as normally closed now see your tube light is off so i'm going to turn on my switch 1 tube light is on if you turn off the switch 2 or turn on the switch 1 tube light will off okay so this is normally open and normally closed and this is coil so these three instruction are will come under the bit logic so all three are very important in ladder logic programming i hope you have understood the normally closed concept i will meet you in the next session before that kindly like and subscribe our youtube channel for more updates thank you